Toastmasters is an amazing place to increase your leadership skills and abilities. At club level, you're probably used to the positions of president, vice president, education, membership, PR, sergeant at arms, and treasurer. But did you know that there are other positions in Toastmasters? In the district, we have some leadership positions that are available. I'm putting together a series of videos showcasing these positions so that if you're interested in one of them, you would get an idea of what uh, we do here at the district. Today, I interviewed uh, Nicole Holas, our administration manager. Uh, Nicole is an awesome person. Uh, she's fun to work with and she's great. Uh, it's a great team dynamic that we have and it wouldn't be the same without her. You know an administrator is doing a good job when everything is running smoothly. And I must say this is one of the most smooth running years I've ever seen in Toastmasters from my perspective. I think uh, she's done a great job. So here's my interview with Nicole Holas, the uh, administration manager. What does the admin manager do? The administration manager is the record keeper for the district. They're also the minute taker. They assist the district director 110% to make sure that they do their job to the best of their ability. Every time there's a district meeting, be it a, be it a district business meeting or a district executive council meeting, I am there to take attendance, to ensure that we have quorum, and to take the minutes. Because 20 years from now, when I'm no longer the district administration manager, somebody might want to know what happened at the district in 2023, 2024, and it's my minutes that they will refer to to go, oh, so-and-so was a district leader. It's in the minutes. My job is very important. This role. What do I wish I knew before starting this role? The importance of the role and time management. In terms of importance, as the administration manager, I have to take minutes for every meeting and I cannot sit around and enjoy the sunshine before I clean up those minutes and send them off to the district director. Because the district director is waiting for them to see, okay, what business has happened? What does she need to do for the next deck meeting? What does she need to do for Toastmasters International? I also need to send those minutes to everybody who was at the meeting and anybody who missed it so they know what business we conducted at the bis either a business meeting or a district executive committee meeting. And the other thing I wish I knew was the time commitment. There can be time, days or months during the Toastmasters year where I am very busy as the administration manager because we've got a district business meeting. I have to prepare for that. I have to collect PowerPoint slides from people and then I have to collect reports from people. And as you and I both know, Randy, not everybody submits their report on time. But if I knew those two things, the time commitment and how important my role was, I would have been much better prepared. How has my experience been so far? I have to say this has been an incredible experience. I have had, I've had ups and downs. I admit I've had ups and downs. There were days I wasn't even sure if I could do this job. But working with Nancy as the district director, her patience, her support, really showed me that yes, I can do this job. I'm gonna say it's not easy. It's not easy. It can be a lot of hard work, but it's also extremely rewarding because I get to meet people all over the district. I get to learn more about what happens behind the scenes at the district. Why exactly do we collect dues? What exactly do we do with the money that we collect? How difficult is it to start a new club? The amount of work that all the district leaders do to make sure that our district is strong and successful every year is mind-blowing. But I've learned that by being the admin manager. Do I manage a team and if so, what are their roles? You could kind of say that I manage the district leadership team in a little way. Yes, there's a district director, and I would say I'm her right hand, but I have to, and she, the district director is the person in charge of the district leadership team, but I also have to be in, have my finger on their pulses. Let me give you an example. Every, we would meet every two weeks to ensure that we're on track with everything the district needs to do. And I 
working very closely with the district director, I, w I would send out the meeting agenda, remind people when the meeting is, send out the Zoom link, and also send out the minutes from the last meeting. Then when the meeting started, we'd go through all the action items. And there were always one or two people who kind of forgot their action item. <laughs> sometimes it was me, sometimes it was other people. But I was given the responsibility by the district director to be able to say, hey, pick up the phone and call somebody. Do they need support? Do they need assistance? What do they need? What, how can I help them? I would almost say the team that I worked with is the entire team of the district leadership. The audit chair, the alignment chair, the finance manager, everybody, the district directors, sorry, there's only one of those, the division, <laughs> the division directors, the area, the area <laughs> directors, all of those people I worked with. The number one club role that helped me prepare to be the district administration manager is the secretary. And I know a lot of people frown upon taking the secretarial role at the club level. They think it's just a waste of time. And I don't think they understand how important that role is. I belong to some clubs that have been around for 30 years, 40 years, 70 years. As the club secretary, I am responsible for the records of that club. The club may have been founded in 2024, but in 2056, when that club is still growing strong, it's because of the records kept by the club secretary that someone can look back and go, hey, back in 2024, this club was founded by Randy Moore and Bouchan Riley and Jeff Burroughs, and look where it is today. Without those minutes and those records kept by the secretary, that club would actually not be in good standing with Toastmasters International. And we all have to remember that Toastmasters International doesn't keep track of all those records for your club. That's up to the club and the club secretary. And so as an extension, I'm the, as the district administration manager, I'm responsible for all the records for the district. So that in 2056, when we're floating around in, you know, car, De DeLorean, <laughs> like in Back to the Future, People can look back at what has happened at District 86 and go, okay, here's what happened in 2024. How will I know if I'm successful in my position? Number one, my di district director is happy. If my district director doesn't have to call me up in the middle of the night and go, Nicole, where's this? I, then I know I'm being successful. On the other hand, if my district director calls me up in the middle of the night and goes, Nicole, did we do this? And I can say to her, yes, we did, or no, we didn't. And then she knows, okay, I have to do something or I don't have to do something. Then I know I'm successful because I have to work closely with her. I hope she lets me call me. I hope she lets me call her at three o'clock in the morning. But sometimes we need that close relationship to know that everything is on track. I will also know I'm successful when I, in a timely manner, send out the minutes from every district meeting regardless of if it's just a small group of us or the entire district council. If I'm doing that on a timely basis and I'm getting the minutes out on time, then I know I'm being successful. What kind of person would be good for a district administration manager person? Nobody like me. <laughs> Actually, don't. <laughs> Honestly, someone who can, someone who is approachable, Someone who people can pick up the phone and call and know that that person is going to do what they say to do or what they say they're going to do. The admin manager also has to be able to reach out to other people to be able to pick up the phone and go, hey, Bushan, I'm waiting for whatchamacallit. Can I help you in any way? And he knows that, hey, I'm there for him. He's there for me. You have to, also as the administration manager, you have to be able to work as a team. Because one day you might be working very closely with the alignment chair. The next day you might be working very closely with the audit committee. You have to be able to deal with different kinds of personalities. Because not everybody is the same as I am. Some people out there are very serious and it's only once in a while, you know, they might smile. But I have to be able to deal with them and be professional 
and be respectful to make sure that they do their job well and I do my job well. What advice would I give to a future administration manager? Okay. Okay. First of all, get a wall calendar. If you can, get a 16-month wall calendar. And when your district director sets out the calendar for the year, put it onto your wall calendar. Put the wall calendar on your wall. If there's a district executive committee meeting coming up, put on your wall calendar your deadlines. The meeting might be on, say, July the 15th. But there are things you have to do as the administration manager before July the 15th. You have to send out the minutes from the previous district executive committee meeting. You have to send out the agenda, which has to be prepared by the district director. And maybe she's got 300 things on the go, so I might offer, hey, do you want me to help you out? And then you look it over. I also have to send out the invitations and make sure that everybody knows we expect you to be at this meeting. There, though that calendar on the wall is very important. Secondly, be open for anything. Your computer might go down. You might have a flash flood. Hopefully not everybody has a flash flood. But be, be flexible. Like I said previously, be able to work with any person. Because some people on the district and the district team, you may have never worked with them before. So be flexible, be approachable, and be willing to be supportive of other people. Because really, I'm not just one person. I'm part of a big wheel that makes sure the district does what we need to do to make sure that our district is strong and our members are achieving what they need to do. Because of course, number one in Toastmasters are the club members. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, take that back. Yes, it matters what we do at the top, but we always have to remember that we have to look after our club members because there, without a club member, there is without a club member, there's no club, no district, no admin manager. Would I do this role again? Yes, I would, especially now that I know what needs to be done. But beyond that, I enjoy learning about Toastmasters beyond the club level. I've been in Toastmasters since 2006. And one thing I've learned is that there's so much about Toastmasters beyond the club. I've been on, I've been I've had various roles on the club executive, but I always wanted to know what goes on beyond. And by being the district administration manager, I have my foot in two worlds. One of the worlds is the district and beyond. So what's happening with the region? What's happening at Toastmasters International that is going to trickle down to us? But I also have my foot in the, the district with the division directors and the area directors and the club presidents. And so it's a great way to learn about Toastmasters as a whole, especially if you're considering becoming a district trio member or even going beyond the district and going, taking on an international role. 